Hello everyone, welcome to Code and Learn. So as you probably already know, request validation is a crucial security and reliability measure for HTTP or gRPC requests. It's all about ensuring that the data that is coming into your application from the client, like we have here, is what you expect it to be in the format that you expect it to be and free from malicious content. If requests are not validated, your application could be vulnerable to security attacks. So in this lesson, we are going to use Proto-Validate to validate the incoming request. Proto-Validate provides us with an interceptor that can be used to validate the incoming request. So as you can see here, I'm looking at Proto-Validate, which is one of the plugins provided by Buff. With Proto-Validate, what we can do is we can use CES, which is a language that was developed by Google. CES is the expression language. So what we can do is when we define the fields on the gRPC message, we can add something like this, where we use the CES to say buff.validate.field.string UUID is equal to true. That means to account ID needs to be a UUID. And there are different other rules provided by Proto-Validate. If I go to buff.validate, you can look at all the other rules provided by Proto-Validate. You can also write your custom rules. For example, if I go to string rules, it will provide you an example of what you can do with string rules. So you can add a rule to make sure that the value is always a constant. Similarly, you can assert on the length, min length and so on. I will add a link to this in our video description. So now let's add proto validate as a plugin to buff. So first thing I'm going to do is add it as a dependency. After that, I'm also going to add a generation rule to make proto validate related stuff from the go package option. Now with that added, we can start adding the rules using the CES language in our profiles. So for this lesson, I'm just going to add the rules to the create request. The ID of the create request needs to be a UUID. So I will do buff.validate.field string UUID set to true. That means this field needs to be a UUID. We also need to import proto validate into the profile. So I'm just going to import it here. Next, I'm going to add a rule for author. I'm just going to set a millnet that is equal to 2. Next, for title, I'm going to add two rules. So we will do something like this. Since this is an array, we can specify multiple rules like this. For this, I'm setting millnet is equal to 10 and max length is equal to 100. Next, we have a summary. Again, I'm going to set a millnet. Similar thing for the content. So we will do millnet is equal to 100. Now the source needs to be a URI or URL. So I'm just going to use the inbuilt rule to set it string URI is equal to true. Tags are going to be a slice or array. So I'm just going to say min item should be one. And that's it. So create request should now have these rules. Now let's generate the proto. As you can see, it says file does not exist. This is because we need to pull the dependency. As you will see in buff.log, we don't have the proto validated but we have added it in buff.yml. So to pull it, we need to run buff tap update. Since we are using the go tool directive, we can do go tool buff tap update and that should pull in the proto validates. So now if I do make generate proto, it works fine. Now what buff will do is, this is considered as metadata and that metadata is added to the generated code that is in here. So when we will use proto validate interceptor to validate the message, it will use the metadata to validate against each field of the message. So now let's go to the server side to add the new interceptor to validate the incoming message. I'm just going to close the terminal for now. Closing all these files, let's remove all the interceptors we added earlier. First thing we need to do is create a validator from proto validate package. So let's import the proto validate package. Here, I'm just going to do buff build slash go slash proto validate. Then from proto validate, we will create a validator. Validator error proto validate dot new. If error is not nil, we will do log dot fatal f validator initialization. Now to pull in the dependencies, that is proto validate. Let's run go mod id and that should pull in proto validate. Now here in the interceptor, or change junior interceptor, we will initialize the proto validate interceptor. To use that, we need to import a different package, which is gRPC ecosystem go gRPC middle layer interceptors proto validate. I'm importing that as an alias proto validate underscore interceptors. So we will do proto validate interceptors dot unary server interceptor and pass in the validator. 
that's who go more tidy again to pull in the validate interceptor and that's it so as you can see we have set up our unary interceptor from proto validate with the validator that we created similar to this you can also do like grpc chain streaming interceptor proto validate dos streaming server interceptor and that's it so it will validate both the unary and streaming calls please note that these are the server side interceptors let me close this now to show you how this works let us remove this that is let us send a non-uuid i can say test something as an id now in the terminal let us start the server go run cmd server main.go that's working now let's make a call to the server so go run cmd client main.go this is throwing an error because we imported the uuid package but didn't use it let's remove it and try to make the call again and as you can see we are getting the following messages because proto validate is validating and failing our input request as id is not a valid uuid summary must be of length 20 characters and content must be of length 100 characters so that's basically how proto validate can be used for validating the incoming client request first you would need to add the ces expressions in here or in the proto then you generate the code after which you will initialize the validator and then set it up as a interceptor similar to this we can also validate request on the client side so before even sending it to the server let's just import the proto validate package on the client side and then here i can do validator error proto validate dot new if error not is equal to nil we are going to do log dot fatal f validator initialization here what is different is we can't set up the interceptor because interceptors are only available from the server side so i'm just going to move this down and create a validator here then what we can do is move this out of the create call here we can do msg or message then we can do validator dot validate the message it will return error so if error is equal to validator dot validate and error not is equal to nil we will do log dot fatal f validation error if everything works out we can pass on the message here save it let's try again server is still running so that should be all right and as you can see we are getting a message from our client side that is validation error which is the log entry we just added so that is basically how you can use the proto validate plugin with buff and with our generated code to validate the incoming and outgoing request both on the client and the server side i hope you enjoyed this lesson if you have any questions please post a comment under the video or reach out to our discord server until next time happy coding